Hey everyone, this is Tom Desmond of Apricot Law with a detailed analysis of your top local competitor. Being ranked in the top three for car accident lawyer in your city is a very good way to get a lot of car accident cases. So in this video, you'll watch me pick apart every little detail of that top ranking site in your city so you can see exactly how they got there. SEO, link metrics, and some conversion factors too. More importantly, you'll see how we would outrank them so you can get those calls and cases. Now, I know that's a bold statement, so at the end of the video, I added a proof segment, which will allow you to see some of our clients that are ranking for car accident lawyer in some major cities. Before we jump into this analysis, you need to understand the two main components of organic ranking, and those are relevance and authority. So this is very important. Please spend the next three minutes with me to review this so you can get the most out of the analysis. Here we go. Relevance. Relevance is everything that we do on your site. The term relevance in SEO describes the extent to which the content of a website's page matches the search term used. There's seven elements that Google uses to determine relevance, and we'll look at all of those in the video. Most phrases that you want to rank for will require a dedicated landing page, but that being said, a properly built landing page will rank for different permutations of that phrase and its synonyms. Authority. Authority ratings like PA, page authority, and DA, domain authority, refer to website strength, and that's rated from 1 to 100. 100 is the strongest. Strength comes from backlinks, and a backlink is a link on another website that points to your website. We think of backlinks like nutrition. It's your website's nutrition. So like diet, good backlinks make your website healthy and strong, and bad backlinks make your website sick and weak and in some cases penalized. To go a little deeper with links, I added this. This is link qualities. Links have to be diverse, meaning they have to come from many different kinds of websites. Web 2.0, directories, press release, article syndications, uh, guest posts, social media, and PBN, that's private blog networks, which are the strongest. Uh, those links have to be relevant. So relevance is important, and we estimate that about 85% of your links should come from law-related sites to increase that TF score, that's trust flow. Um, links have to be authoritative and focused. So just like what we're trying to do to your website, which is increase its authority, those links have to come from authoritative websites. That's what it ultimately increases your authority. And they have to be focused. So you don't want um, those pages linking to you to have tons of outbound links because that dilutes the nutrition coming from those authority websites. Anchor text ratio is very important. Anchor text is the text that the link is built on and to avoid over optimization penalties, which is the penguin penalty. Exact match anchors must be 4% or below, which means if you have 100 links pointing to your site, you want only four of them to be that exact match, uh, like uh, the link itself, Miami, Car Accident Lawyer, for example, should only be four out of those 100 links if you want to rank for that phrase. Uh, then velocity. Velocity is the, uh, the rate that other sites are linking to you. So um, you can't have five referring domains one week and then the next week 200 referring domains because that's just unnatural. So link velocity is very important. In summary, websites with sharp on-page elements and solid backlinking profiles rank in the top three for anything they want and get the most traffic and hands down no exceptions to that rule this is the good news 94 percent of the websites that we see in the legal industry can be easily knocked off the first page outranked for any phrase in four months or less so let's take a close look at your competition and i'll show you what i mean Okay, here we are at Google. We're gonna check out Durham, North Carolina car accident lawyer, and Winston-Salem, North Carolina car accident lawyer. And I found something interesting that will, um, is, is perfect for, for illustrating relevance within the, on websites. But before I do that, um, let's, let's just go down Durham uh, quickly. So here's the, the ads at the top. And even though they're at the top, they don't really get the best traffic 
people know their ads. And then, you know, we, studies show that the quality of the traffic isn't as good either because um, the, the bounce rate is so high. And this is organic maps. This is very important to be, to be ranked in maps. We can do that with local citations and a couple of other techniques. Um, and this is the winner circle in the top three. Now, in this particular case, which is super odd, um, the same website is in the top, takes up the top one, two, the first and the second and the third results. Now, for me, that's exciting because, because it, it, it tells me that Google really doesn't have another choice other than to promote the same website three times. It would prefer not to, um, but there, that means there isn't another website out there that has um, the relevance and authority. So it's just an algorithm that is choosing this, but now I know that I can come along easily and take up one of these spots. Uh, Google's main objective is to provide the best website. And the website, the best website is the website that has the most relevant information um, in com combination with um, the most authority. So that's one interesting thing about uh, Durham. Uh, the other thing is, we, let's take a look at the, um, you know, the page titles and, and how this is laid out and, and compare them with the, uh, the page authority. So the page title here, um, Auto Accident Lawyer Durham, North Carolina, is pretty close to the original search phrase. So that's the reason that Google chose to, to put that in the number one spot. It isn't because of the page authority, because the page authority is only 13, which is very, very low. See here, there's only six links pointing to that internal page. Google chose their home page for the second spot. Now, the page authority is not optimized for the phrase. Google knows that personal injury lawyers do car accidents, but the page title does not indicate that. And the, uh, but I'm sure on the page, it does, there is a link to this car accident page and there's probably car accident mentions on the page, but the page authority is very strong. So it's an interesting situation we have here. This one outranks its own website because it's more uh, relevant, even though this page is more authoritative. And then um, here's another <laughs> page from that same website that is in the number three spot and look at the page, uh, the page title. It does have car accident and it does have North Carolina, but it doesn't have Durham. Um, yet the page authority is 30. So see how that, see that the top one is more relevant and it wins, even though it has a smaller page authority. And this one in the number three spot is also somewhat relevant because it's car accidents, but it doesn't have the location in it. So it bounced, it got bounced down to the number three spot with, um, with a page authority of 30. And the reason that this is worth talking about is because each of these have the same exact domain authority and it's the same exact website. So it has the same exact number of pages and it's a really unique kind of a situation we're in here. So we'll, maybe we'll take a closer look at this actual website. But before I do that, this is something else that I found to be kind of interesting. Um, this website here is ranked for Durham, North Carolina, accident attorneys and you can see it says car accident here in um, in the meta description and that law firm is also ranked for Salem you see I clicked over to the other page and this is Winston Salem North Carolina car accident lawyer and uh, when I scroll down you can see that same website kind of in the same position a different page right so look at the, um, the page title is Winston Salem North Carolina accident lawyers and here's the, the, the URL is uh, NC personal injury slash Winston Salem accidents. And here's that same website, but with a different page. And they got them to rank uh, in, in the position, in the fifth position and in the sixth position. So I want to take a closer look at all of this stuff. Let's click on this because it is optimized perfectly for that phrase. And I'll use it as an example. So I'm gonna use this tool here to, uh, to go through the seven um, components of a per perfectly optimized page. Here's the URL, probably the, one of the most important. If not the most important, it's one of the two. And it, it has all the phrases in it, car accident lawyer, lawsuit, Durham, North Carolina. That's everything that we searched. So it's all right there in the URL. The second 
is the page title, which we already looked at because we saw that on Google. Google pulls your page title um, into that position with a big blue type. So that's perfectly optimized, even a little over-optimized. It says Durham a couple times. You only need to say it once. It says accident twice. It says uh, auto and car. It says attorneys and lawyer. So they kind of overdid it, but it worked. Uh, the meta description, you don't have to worry about that. You can write it if you want, um, but it's not, a, it's not a ranking factor. This keyword section is totally useless, but they, they threw it in there anyway. The H1 tag, very important. It's the same phrase, Durham, car accident, lawyer. So they made it perfectly optimized. And then they have some H2 tags, which seem to be okay. Uh, it says car accident lawyer in Durham. Uh, uh, the H2s are typically um, uh, like article style titles, like these. These are good. These are good H2s. I'm highlighting it down here. They're a little longer. They have synonyms in them, um, you know, etc. So when I take a closer look at that page, there's not a lot of content on this page at all. Um, which is a good, it's good, good to see that because Google, like I said, wants to promote websites that provide good, good information. So if you, this is probably only like 400 words, not even 350 words on this page. If you create a page optimized for Durham, North Carolina car accident lawyer, and there's a thousand or 1200 words on it. And there's, you know, some video and images and bullet points pointing to other pages within your site. Um, Google is quickly going to recognize that your site is providing more information, better information. If it's original content, it's well written, um, you know that kind of stuff. So uh, now, now the next thing I'm going to do is look for internal links because Google's looking for that. Google wants to provide a website that has good links on the page, pointing to other relevant uh, bits of information on your website and also off of your website. So you want to have a couple of relevant outbound links linked to some statutes or something off of your website that'll help the reader. And here's some other related pages. These are the same links that are in the content here, so that's not really helpful. And these are office locations, which is not relevant. All right, so this is how we beat this, web, this, uh, this website. Create a page that has more content and bullet points pointing to other relevant pages. This is a about a hundred other commonly searched phrases that people who've been in a car accident use when looking for answers. So you provide those answers and that information and you link to it from your main car accident site, uh, car accident page. Then you pound that page with quality links. And now that gives me an opportunity to talk about this tool. Now this individual page, the one that's ranked number one, does not have any links as one referring domain and that's it's the own website right so it's hard to talk about links using this page so I'll take a look at the home page because I know there's some links on that page but each page needs to have authority so when, when I see a, a website in the number one position and it doesn't have any links pointing to it that's that's a home run I mean all you have to do is be relevant provide a little bit more information than the, than the winning website and hit it with some good links not crappy links but relevant and authoritative links like i explained earlier and it's a it it just happens it always works if you do it right and if you're in the top three you get 75 percent of the clicks so it's 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 a great thing to do so here's the the best link and now we're looking at the home page so there's 53 root domains pointing to this entire home page and the home page always has more links than any other page on the site. It just naturally happens that way. And that's kind of a low number. I mean, a lot of the sites that we analyze and you know, our own clients have 200 referring domains. And that means refer root domains, referring root domains means uh, individual different websites that are linking to you, right? For a total of 15, 100, 590 links. This is a pretty low number. Not that it's all about the numbers, the number of links, if you have 25 great links, they're, they're from uh, relevant websites, meaning law-related or even car accident-related, Google is going gonna, is gonna to respond more fondly to that than 100 links from irrelevant or weak websites, right? So 
it, it really is like nutrition. You, it's not just how much you eat, it's what you eat. You are what you eat. And your website is uh, as strong as the links pointing to it. And to take that a step further, the link is only as good as the page it's coming from. And each page has its own page authority and domain authority. So what I'm just highlighting there is a 48. That is the, uh, the strength uh, of the link because it's the strength of that page. But it, I do have to click on it because there's one other thing you have to check. So this is a business directory. Um, it's, it's, legal, it's a legal and financial directory. So it is relevant and it does have authority because as, as you saw, and I just, I know it's tiny, it's a PA48, but look at all the other links on the page. So it's all these uh, footer links and then all of these uh, other links on the page, leaving the page are, um, are sucking up that, that, uh, that juice. So imagine, you know, 35 people trying to get nutrients from one bowl of soup. That, that's exactly what's happening here. So the, the links have to be relevant, authoritative, you know, meaning they have a nice PA, and you have to pretty much get all that juice to yourself. And if you could do that a bunch of times, then, you know, you can outrank anybody. So I, these are all the same. It's just that same link. You can see listings, homestead. It's just a directory. Here's demos. That's, um, it's the same thing. It's a PA42, which is nice, but it's a huge directory. So it's just kind of like a link farm. What I'm looking for is something valuable so I can show you. This is a good link and they pay for it because, um, you know, fine law charges for this stuff. So it's a PA40 and here's their link right there. It's going right to the home page, and there's really nothing else on the page. Some of these footer links, but really in the body of that page, which is this section and this little bit here, there's just this link. So that's a great link. That's helping them, and it's relevant, obviously, from Fine Law. But it is expensive. There's better, cheaper ways to get more links. And paying for more links from fine law is not the solution because you're still only getting one referring domain. If this is one domain, no matter how many times, how many direct, how many listings you have with them, it's still just one domain. Here's the yellow pages ad. Okay, same thing. Long list of links, even though it's a PA40. Okay, I'll stop beating that to death and I'll try to find something else. What is a good link? Good link is like I said earlier, like a, a private network site, it's a blog, there's uh, content on the page, it's an article about a car accident or a specific situation or how to deal with a car accident and the seven steps um, that you need to know it, right after a car accident. And right in the middle of that content is a link pointing right to your car accident page. That's the best. And if you get a handful of those, that's when you start to rank. And not, nobody can touch you. Here's a beginning farmers. Here's a spammy link when it starts to turn orange. Um, this is the last one to look at on this site, and I want to jump over to uh, Winston-Salem and see what's happening. This is a, looks like an irrelevant, oh, it says something about settlement, so maybe it's something with, uh, maybe somebody commented and they got the link that way. All right, not a bad link. PA23, looks like just one article, not bad. Let's go over to, to this website. I mean this page. Winston-Salem car accident attorneys. So quick relevance check. The, um, the domain just says auto accidents. It's a little under optimized. The page title is perfect. It's the exact phrase with the exception of they use attorneys instead of lawyers. They put lawyers over here in this part of the title. Uh, we already talked about meta description, H1 and H2. Close this up. Um, they have their sidebar, which is not, uh, it's not a custom sidebar. If it was a custom sidebar, these would all be car accident related phrases, which would be more powerful. Uh, again, Google is looking for a, a page that has tons of relevant information, um, like defective products and, you know, civil litigation that's not relevant this is a relevant video I know it's on YouTube I can see that it's optimized for a car accident 
So that's good. Google knows that this is a car accident related video. Um, checking on the page. So I don't see any relevant inbound or outbound links. So that's sort of the weakness. Take a quick look at the links because it's the page itself is a PA26, which to be in the number two spot is pretty low. There's only three referring root domains. So there's only three different websites pointing to this internal page that's ranked to number two for a page authority of um, 26. Total links 284. And here are those links. And the best one is spammy. See this orange here. So let's take a peek at it. This is a, a Web 2.0 property because you can see this is a WordPress uh, page. This is free. You can, you can get as many of these as you want. And um, publish an article and, and uh, link to your website. And the domain authority is fantastic. It's a 96. But the page authority will always start off as a 1. Now, the fact that this is... Um, the page authority is a 31, yet this tool is recognizing spam means that, well, my guess is that they have some automated system that is generating thousands and thousands of links to point to this page to try to juice up this page to make the link pointing to their website more valuable. And Google has just has been hip to that for a long time. So that's not working. And what's happening is the spam score is starting to climb up and eventually this link is going to hurt them. Once this reaches a seven, it's at a six now, this turns red and um, then they start to lose rank. So that's not a good, that's my, that's my guess. And I've been doing this, you know, this is what I do all day. So I, it's kind of an intuitive thing now. Um, so I, I hope that's helpful. You got to peek at two of your uh, competitors in those two markets and this, I think they're pretty easy to penetrate. So let's take a look at some proof. So here's the proof segment. And the point of the proof segment is to show you that the strategies that you just learned do actually work in this competitive market. So I'm just going to run through all these quickly. We'll see the term like this up here. And, uh, and then I'll click on our clients in the SERPs and uh, flip down to the bottom and so you can see our logo in the subfooter. I chose a handful of these. There's only about 15 or so up here. We do have plenty more, um, but these are significant and I'll explain the significance um, and why I chose them when I go through them. And also keep in mind, we have an amazing offer. So fill out the form on this page to take advantage of our free website audit video. Uh, you get a, a video in about 24 hours it's a custom video analysis of your website shot by me and sent to you for you to watch at your leisure. There's no strings. There's no obligation. It's just free. And it's really, there's no better way to really see what's going on with your internet marketing. So take advantage of that. All right, let's jump in. So first, here's our, I just wanted to show you a sample ranking report um, from one of our clients. This is our New York City client. We... Um, built this website from scratch and he's ranked, these are all number one rankings here. Let's see, he's got um, like 42, 41 number one rankings. These are all page one rankings, uh, all car accident related, all over New York City, Manhattan, Brooklyn, the Bronx, Staten Island, Queens. And there's 239 page one rankings. So this is a monster site. Here, Austin, personal injury lawyer. I chose that because a lot of people want to rank for that in addition to their car accident page. So here's Paul Colley, he's our client. We built this site from scratch. There's a logo at the bottom. Brooklyn car accident lawyer, super competitive. Here's our client right here in the number one spot. There's three million people in Brooklyn, so that is a very powerful phrase to be number one for. Here's Brooklyn truck accident lawyer. I added that because here's an example of him taking up two spots. That's number two and number three. Uh, his truck accident page and his car accident page are both taking up those spots for Brooklyn truck accident lawyer. Miami car accident lawyer. This is one of the, the most competitive phrases in the industry. Here's our client here, Boris Levent. Here's a website we built for him, brand new from scratch. Now, this is significant because he's a very young guy. He's a solo practitioner. Here's his pop-up. It's a cool site. And he's outranking all of those huge 
firms in Miami who are spending an enormous amount of money um, trying to rank for that phrase. And we got him up there very quickly. Here's our logo at the bottom. Salt Lake City uh, car accident attorney, Craig Swap. Here, here is he. Here his website is at the number three spot. Um, here's our logo. Now that I also chose Boise. Now this is significant because it's the same firm, Craig Swap. And I, I know you've probably heard that. Oh, you can't rank for multiple locations. Uh, that's totally untrue. In fact, these are different states, and we rank the same website in Salt Lake City, Boise, and Spokane, Washington. Here he is again, number two, car accident lawyer, okay? Now, um, here's Orange County. We even left out the word county, and we still ranked him in the number two spot. This is DKB. They're a brand new firm um, in California, and we were their, their first SEO company. We built the site from scratch. Here's our link. They're great people. Here, I'll show you their homepage quickly. Nice looking site, good photos, you know, great content, icons. Here's uh, an example of how to rank for a long tail phrase. So Orange County drunk driving accident lawyer. Anytime you put drunk driving in any kind of phrase, it becomes extremely competitive, as you can imagine. And we ranked him for number two and three. So his car accident page ranks because it's relevant for car accident, even though the word car is not in the phrase. And we ranked his DUI accident. So he's taken up two spots. Very interesting. And here's a just San Francisco uh, car accident lawyer. Here's Jesse Crisp. His internal page ranks for that phrase, I think in the top four. And here's a Lake County car accident lawyer is an example of ranking for um, a longer tail phrase. And for that, we pushed his homepage up into the number one spot. So there's Jesse. So there's just a little bit of proof. Uh, feel free to reach out. If you have a question, call me or, or send an email. Definitely take advantage of that free website, audit video, and uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you. Okay, all the best. Take care.